Hey, what's up, DIYers? Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking radon gas systems. And if you are curious if radon gas systems actually work, in today's video, we're going to try to answer that question for you. Let's get started. All right, in front of us now are three separate radon gas tests. On the far left was test number one, or the original test we completed, which gave us the high results. And in the middle was our test number two, or retest, after we converted the passive system to an active system. And test number three, was just for peace of mind because we wanted to make sure test number two or the retest was accurate and reliable. Let's direct our attention to test number one again. First alert, I'll show you the box. You can purchase this at your local Lowe's or Home Depot, maybe Menards. It's a very friendly DIY test kit. We started this test back at 10.40 a.m. April 12, 2020, and completed it 10.40 a.m. April 14, 2020. This is an exposure 48-hour test, and our radon test results came back at 5.5, which is not safe. So what we had to do was contact our local radon mitigation system, have them come out and convert our passive system to an active system. They did that pretty quickly within a couple weeks. And here is test number two or the retest. And this test was provided by the company that installed our system or converted it from passive to active. This is an AirCheck branded kit. And the company that converted our system is called SWAT, S-W-A-T. We completed this test on May 11, 2020 at 10 a.m. And it ended May 14, 2020, 10 a.m. And was completed on the exact same floor and location of test number one. Little difference between test one and test two was the duration. This is a three-day test or 72-hour test. This was a 48-hour test or two-day test. So as you can see, there is a substantial difference between test number one and test number two. Let's go back to test number one. This was before the conversion. All we had was a passive install. And what that basically means is the plumbing is installed. However, you have no pressure gauge, nor do you have a fan built into your system, sucking that radon gas out of the ground and exhausting it out the pipe that goes all the way up and out of your roof. So really, a passive system is basically a stationary idle system that has already been installed for plumbing purposes to make it convenient to convert it to an active. You just have to pay the fees that the company charges you to convert it. However, back to the actual result. Again, 5.5, that is alarming. Plus or minus 0.3, that is very safe. And because there were differences between test one and test two, the first alert and the air check, just for peace of mind, I wanted to complete a third test. And we completed this on May 21st, 2020 at 9.30 a.m. And again, this is a two-day test period and ended on May 23rd, 2020 at 9.30 a.m. And it came back 0.7. That is still very safe. And once we sent this away, they received it on May 27, 2020, and they reported the test results back to us on May 31st, 2020. So again, that third test was just for peace of mind. However, back to the main focus, which was the test results of no radon system or a stationary idle passive install system compared to an active system. And as you can see, there is a substantial difference. 5.5 .5 to 0.3 retested just slightly above at 0.7. Now, as far as the reports, test two, just one page, nothing really fancy about it. The first alert comes with a three page report, which is pretty impressive and has a lot of valuable information in this. That is a three page document or report as well. Now we have a separate video that we go through and explain and share all of that report in a detailed and well-explained order. And in the event that you are curious on that, that video is scrolling above. Definitely check that out. You may find it very helpful. So that's it, YouTubers. Hopefully this helps. Do us a favor. Below the video, you'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.